Comets and asteroids preserve the building blocks of our solar system and should help explain its origin. But there are unsolved puzzles. For example, how did icy comets obtain particles that formed at high temperatures? And how did these refractory particles acquire rims with different compositions? Carnegie's theoretical astrophysicist Alan Boss and cosmochemist Connell Alexander are the first to model the trajectories of such particles in the unstable disk of gas and dust that form the solar system. They found that these refractory particles could have been processed in the hot inner disk and then traveled out to the frigid outer regions to end up in icy comets. The young sun is thought to have experienced a series of outbursts caused by the rapid infall of disk gas onto the sun. The leading mechanism for explaining such outbursts is a phase of disk instability. The researchers modeled the trajectories of several hundred centimeter-sized mineral particles during this disk instability. The researchers then modeled the evaporation and condensation processes that the particles would experience during their migrations, and found that such particles were likely to acquire outer rims with varied isotopic compositions. Isotopes are different varieties of the same element. Temperatures range from a frigid minus 350 degrees Fahrenheit, or 60 degrees Kelvin, in the outer regions, to a scorching 2,240 degrees Fahrenheit, or 1,500 degrees Kelvin, near the center. About 10% migrated back and forth in the disk before hitting one or the other boundary. Most struck the inner boundary of the disk at one astronomical unit, the Earth-Sun distance, while others went to the outer boundary at 10 astronomical units, where they could be swept up by a growing comet. The particles modeled in this study are thought to have formed at the very beginning of the solar system. The results show that they must have experienced remarkably complex histories as they were transported chaotically throughout the disk. The research is published in Earth and Planetary Science Letters. The Carnegie Institution has had over 110 years of extraordinary discoveries. To continue this tradition, Carnegie scientists need your support. For more information about this and other cool science, visit our website at carnegiescience.edu. This is John Strom.